We refer to our 6 litre chrome water fire extinguisher as chrome because it looks lovely and shiny and everyone thinks it is chrome plated but in actual fact it's better than that. This is stainless steel and normal water fire extinguishers and your normal types are made from mild steel with a lining on the inside to protect it from the water which eventually will gradually corrode and give way. Stainless steel ones do not. They're also suitable for uh, other places where they may be under a harsh environment such as a swimming pool. Uh, swimming pool leisure centres where they're subject to chlorine in the air. Chlorine will gradually corrode mild steel much faster than your warranty will, uh, will last. And then when you say to the company this is covered by warranty, they'll point out, ah, not for corrosive atmospheres. Anyway, back to what this does. Water extinguisher is good for Class A fires, that's it. Class A, though, is the common one, because Class A is wood, paper, cardboard, material, things like that. If you need to cover the other common one, electrical equipment, you just put a CO2 extinguisher with it. So that's the common combination. Now, the way this works is, again, very simple. Hold it by the handle, pull the pin out, this little yellow fella is an anti-tamper seal and that can only break when the pin's been pulled out. So if that is not there, that means someone has used it or someone's messed about with it. But once you've used it, pull that out, grab the hose, point the hose at the base of the fire, sweep from side to side, moving forwards, making sure you are safe to do so. Now, the six litre size is the smaller sister of the 9 litre, the common one, but as you can work out there, it's two-thirds the weight. And the beauty is, they still have a 13A fire rating. Now, 13A is the de facto standard with British Standard 5306 for deciding how many extinguishers in a pre premises. Because the way it goes is generally works out as a 13A rated extinguisher for every 2,000 square foot of floor area on any given floor, floor, or for those younger than me, that's 200 square meters. So, easy to work out, eh? And the other one, by the way, you shouldn't have to travel more than about 25 meters to get to a fire extinguisher. That's the two ways to work it out. Put them by exits, put them by fire exits, tops of stairs, bottom of stairs, main corridors, you know the score. <coughs> this is made by Fire Depot and is branded under the Fire Chief range. The, it has the approval of the CE mark, but it cannot carry the British standard. The only reason of that is because, yeah, you guessed it, it's not red. British standard requires fire extinguishers to be red, and obviously if it's going to be stainless steel or chrome, it can't be red. But don't you worry, because these are very, very popular in top-end shops, offices, modern um, shops, architects, designers love them. Does exactly the same job. Same materials, except for the better stainless steel. Same parts, same plain water inside, just lacking red paint, and so can't have the British standard. Now in the box, this particular range, lie the box down, cut it open like so, and this is what you get in it. One hose, these guys do this clever thing of putting a big, horrible polystyrene lump on top. Now, this protects the head cap from over-exuberant carriers because quite often they will drop fire extinguishers. So, put the box down there. Tucked inside the head is this. This is your wall bracket. Now, I'm going to pull it out of the bag so that you can see. That is there. Polystyrene. It does get in a chunk, but hey, doesn't this stuff get everywhere? That's going to stick to me all day, isn't it? This other lump, lump of polystyrene, you may dispose of environmentally, safely, and take it out of the bag, which protects the polished surface, you may want to breathe on it and polish it up, but that is almost ready to go. 
you just need to pop the hose on. Stick it in the hole in the top and carefully, look at me concentrating, should I stick my tongue out? But, aha, got it. Once you get it going, just simply screw that up. It's got an O-ring on the end, the adjustable spanner, just nip that in tight. Nozzle in the nozzle retainer, simple as that. See it's got a pressure gauge on there, check that that pressure gauge is in the green. Anywhere in the green is good, anywhere in the red is not good. Provided that's all good to go, you get it commissioned once a year, get it serviced. These are great fire extinguishers, you won't be disappointed. But if you want to know how much they cost, because I know you do, just click that link on the page and it will tell you everything you need to know. We refer to our six litre chrome water fire extinguisher as chrome because it looks lovely and shiny and everyone thinks it is chrome plated but in actual fact it's better than that. This is stainless steel and normal water fire extinguishers and your normal types are made from mild steel with a lining on the inside to protect it from the water which eventually will gradually corrode and give way. Stainless steel ones do not. They're also suitable for uh, other places where they may be under a harsh environment, such as a swimming pool, a swimming pool leisure centre.